Hi everyone. Well, a couple of years ago, I posted a vlog called Opticians Hate This Video, which was basically about how myopia um, is largely caused by you know, corrective lenses for myopia, and uh, that myopia can be corrected using eye exercises. And people have been asking me, how did this turn out for me? So I'm going to give you an update. First of all, a lot of people said to me, well, myopia is caused by an abnormal shape of the eye. The eye is too long, so it's impossible to correct it with exercises. It's caused uh, by a cornea that is steeper or an eye that is longer than a normal eye, that this affects how light enters the eye. And they also mentioned myopia is not inherited, but is caused by excessive reading and other close work. It can be prevented. And you might think, well, you know, this is the aerobic site, so of course they're going to tell you it's not inherited and it can be prevented or maybe even cured. But if you look at other sites, you'll find the same thing. Myopia, for some reason, is a lot more common in urban areas than it is in rural areas, even when the people share the same genetics. And it seems to be more common in people of higher socioeconomic status. And maybe this is because they spend more time doing close work like reading or also watching TV. For example, one study in Singapore showed that spending more than 20.5 hours reading and writing a week was found to be positively associated with myopia. But he does also mention that other studies in Singapore as well haven't shown this association with close work. So is myopia caused by environmental factors or isn't it? Well, there's definitely something going on because the rates are going up. Some have even called it a myopia explosion. This was written by Dr. Joseph J. Kennebec in 1969. And what he points out is that up to 25 years ago at the time, only a few in every thousand children and young people were myopic. Today, it's over 10 in 100. And he was saying and he would expect this to go up quite a bit if something isn't done about it. So Dr. Kennebec, what he's talking about here is that myopia um, is largely caused by the glasses that are used to correct myopia. So what happens is a kid is found to be a little bit nearsighted. They need a prescription of maybe 0.25 or 0.5, but then what happens is that once you start wearing these glasses, your eyesight starts to deteriorate. I'm obviously no doctor, but having read a lot on this subject, it does look to me like there's a connection and also based on my personal experience I got my first prescription for myopia when I was about nine years old it was very weak it was like a point twenty five or point five and once I started wearing those glasses my eyes started getting worse pretty quickly and by the time I was about fourteen my prescription was up to minus five in the right eye and minus four seventy five in the left eye and I also was given a prescription for astigmatism at some point when I was about, you know, 12 or 13. In my 20s, I was later given a prism for my left eye because I had strabismus. My left eye was turning out and I couldn't focus my two eyes on one spot. So I'd be watching the TV or reading like this with one eye open. And then I had my son in 2007. And after I had my son, a few months later, I decided to get new glasses, and this time I got, for a change, some plastic frames. These are the frames that I got. After a while, I started noticing that I had uh, headaches, and it seemed like it was coming from eye strain. My eyes were hurting me. Um, it was so bad that it was like having a migraine, and I, I started to take my glasses off to give my eyes a rest. And, and during this time, when I was taking my glasses off, I was doing a lot of this. You know, just sort of rolling my eyes around to try to get rid of the strain. And eventually I went back to the eye doctor and said, my glasses are killing me. Um, so they reevaluated and they said, well, the prescription's a little strong for you. And they moved it down to 4.5. And I thought, okay, well, that should solve the problem, but it didn't. So after a while I went back and they gave me 4.25. Uh, but I heard the doctor say, when she was measuring my eyes, she, she, she said it was four or something like that. At one point they had given me just a little bit stronger than what I heard her say I needed. So I asked them, why'd you do that? And they said, um, because we want you to have the best vision possible. But I asked them to lower it because it was 
um, hurting my eyes. I thought that's what was doing it. And it didn't solve the problem and I came back again and they said, you know what it probably is, you're getting old and your eyes are not accommodating and you need reading glasses. So they gave me the progressives and it was horrible. They hurt more than ever. I couldn't wear them. So all this time I was taking my glasses off a lot and in the meantime I was, you know, I started looking up um, eye exercises maybe to get rid of the strain or thinking well you know maybe I can improve my vision with exercises you know I just happened to look into this and sure enough I found that some people were claiming this so I started doing the exercises for real so they were things like looking up and then down and up and down or to the side um, or into the corners uh, rolling your eyes around in a, in a very perfect circle, uh, rolling them around with the eyes closed, and also some exercises where you do things like look at your nose and then look in the distance. A lot of this crossing, also looking at the finger very close and then further away, or looking at a sticker on a window pane and then out in the distance. Also palming, which is where you rub your hands together and then you put them over your eyes. And sunning, which is where, which I didn't do a lot of, but you, you close your eyes and you let the sun go on your eyes. But mostly what I did was I just didn't wear my glasses, hardly wore them, because they were really hurting me. And I did these exercises. So I went back and said, I can't wear these progressives. They're, they're horrible. Uh, can I, why don't you just give me some lenses with the, you know, I want my regular ones back, but can you just give me some lenses with lower prescription than what I need? because my eyes seem to be, my prescription seems to be going down. But they said, no, we can't do that. We have to give you your prescription. So I said, well, here, take the, uh, take the progressives and give me back the regular prescription. And then I found another doctor who was willing to give me a prescription that was weaker. In the meantime, I'd found out that you can, supposedly, uh, improve your vision with exercises. And I got a book called uh, Better Vision Now, I think it was called. My husband has it now, so I don't have it in front of me. Better Vision Now with the Bates Method. Here's the Bates Method uh, website, and here's some exercises, for example. Um, okay, when I went to see the second doctor who, who gave me the, prescri the weaker prescription, he said that my astigmatism prescription had also gone way down compared to what it used to be, and I no longer needed a prism, and that was for sure. I didn't need the prism. My eye was straight now. So what happened? I don't know. I'd had a prism in my glasses for 10 years. Suddenly I didn't need it. And he said, well, let's, okay, we get rid of the prism, but let's leave off the astigmatism prescription um, because maybe you just can't tolerate the astigmatism. So I thought, okay, I'll try that. I still didn't know why the glasses were hurting me so much. So he gave me that weaker prescription with no astigmatism and no prism. So I went and got these glasses with uh, two diopters weaker than what I needed which was what people were saying you should do if you're if you're trying to improve your vision with exercise don't wear them and when you do wear them with two diopters less so I did that and I got one that was like one diopter less and one that was two less so that I had the option of wearing glasses that were more uh, correct you know if I needed to but I wasn't driving or anything like that at that time so about six months later I went to see another uh, optometrist because I, I thought I'd like to get a new pair so I got these and when I went to get these they, they said my prescription was now 3 and 275 and there was still astigmatism but it was very low and no prism um, so it had gone down from 5 that I have documented it, it, I don't know if it was higher before that, but I know it was 5 and 475 and had gone down to 3 and 275. So I got these and they hurt. Couldn't stand it. I got these with another diopter lower than what I supposedly needed. No astigmatism and I wore them, you know, not all the time, but I did wear them. And when I went to that store and I mentioned that I still had pain somebody said well you know maybe it's the plastic frames what why would the plastic frames do that Well, because the lenses in the frames are very flat and some people's eyes just can't adjust to that it's like it's putting a strain on your eye to look through this very flat lens especially when the frames are big so these frames were a little bit big for my face even these maybe and these are a little more curved I don't know if you can see that 
So they were a little bit better. So I realized that it, it was the plastic frames that had been causing all this pain. And I'd gone through hell with the optometrist because of that. I, I spent a lot of money. I, I went there many times. I'd had progressives and all this stuff. But it was the plastic frames that were causing the pain. And in the process, because they were hurting me so much, I was leaving my glasses off and I started doing eye exercises and sunning and palming and all these things. And I ended up with my eyes getting better. And like I said, it's gone down two diopters. That's documented. I no longer need a prism whatsoever. And my astigmatism has gone down. And some people said, well, maybe it's because you had a baby and your eyes changed. I had the baby in 2007. And it was in 2009 that I didn't need a prism. And a prism has nothing to do with having a baby. A prism was because my eye muscles were weak, that my eye was drifting out there. That had nothing to do with giving birth. And I was checked for diabetes, and I wasn't diabetic. And, and actually, if you're wondering why I'm still wearing the glasses, well, my eyes improved quite a bit. But I actually kind of like my glasses, and I didn't really feel that motivated to keep doing the exercises. So I kind of slacked off on it. But uh, I, I really think that this does work, and I'm starting to do it now. Actually, I think that my eyes have improved again, because when I put these on, it, it feels very strong. I think it's too strong, so probably my prescription has gone down more, just from wearing the glasses that are too weak for me and leaving them off. I, you know, what can I say? It's not... I can't scientifically prove it, but it sure looks to me like my eyes got better because I applied these techniques even though I didn't really know what I was doing and I did it because I was having sort of migraines, but my eyesight's improved and that's a fact. So I hope this is helpful to you and thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time. Truth